already. Um, so earlier I was working on, it's more of like a box, like for letters. Um, I had this box and it said like best friends on it and stuff. It was back when I was a little kid and I decided to redo it. More of a vintagey feel. Sorry about the lighting. I've been um, redoing my room lately, so it's a little bit of a disaster. Everything's been in a reorganization mode, and I still want to be able to use my laptop and have it up somewhere, but still be able to use my desk as a craft area. So I have like my craft stuff all over my desk, and. My laptop is on my dresser, which <laughs> is kind of uh, awkward, so I'll be figuring out something eventually, but it's not a very large desk, so like, at the moment it's just loaded with things all over it. Like, <laughs> it's just everywhere. get like a, like a portable webcam or something so I can still make videos and have my laptop on the other side and still do my videos over here. So, um, but I made this, well, not made, I altered this. It's, I don't know what you really would want to call it, but I got this in a swap. Somebody cut it out for me, like a fussy cut. For me and I finally got embossing powder um where is it oh there it is <laughs> finally got embossing powder and a heat gun if you couldn't see earlier I finally got a heat gun heat gun and then like my hot glue is in this bowl that looks like like an ice cream so there's like stuff all over the bottom. Yeah, really, really need to fix that. <laughs> so, so far, I don't know what papers I'm going to put in here yet. If anybody has any ideas, as like, I want it as like a stationary type box. So, I want it to sort of match the theme. The paper is. Uh, Life Journey Paper. Let's see it. It's by Kane Company. It's pretty paper too, shockingly. It's more of like a like journey feel to it. Like um, it's double sided, by the way. I'll show you the other side of stuff. Pretty florals and letter prints. Floral and whirl prints. Floral letters. Letters prints. This is pretty cool. It's like um it's like the definitions and stuff from the dictionary, like for bright and remember and time, sweet, joy, thought, all really cool. You can cut them out and put them in different spots or just leave them as one full page. And then the other side. It's kind of easier for me to show you it this way. If This is like from an ad. A whole bunch of ads in the newspaper. Easy for me to show you it this way and just flip through each side separately instead of trying to fit it all in my camera, which wouldn't be happening. <laughs> music notes, handwritten music note sheets. Well, not really handwritten, but everything's sort of handwritten in here. So, I got some Joann's. I don't know if you can see it, but it's the item number and all that jazz. Anyways, um, this was fussy cut. This I actually got from a dollar store. It's 
like angel wings I thought it was really pretty all I'm roses flowers I love I'm roses the butterfly was stamped with a stamp I got from the dollar bin at Michael's it was like a while back and I actually used white embossing um, ink and then when I put the embossing powder on it I was thinking that it was going to turn gray and it didn't so I definitely just learned something <laughs> it's not gray it's black <laughs> and I guess when you burn embossing uh, powder it like it shows the ink back through so that's what happened to the middle but that's okay. <laughs> and this lace was from a kit from Lila, but had some leftover, so I used it. This box is kind of tight because I folded it over. So, and I put some more of the butterflies there. It's pretty. And this part comes down like this. There's a tab. And these come out. So there's two different trays. The music notes I got from a swap. It's not English music notes. I'm pretty sure it's French because that's not German. So it's like a French. I don't know if you can see any. There we go. I'm pretty sure it's French. But there's two different trays in here, and it kind of came with the box, but, and I just changed the ribbon on the pullout, because it was pink and it didn't really match anything, because it's more, like, green and such in this, in this part, the flap goes back up, and it closes, which is hard. Anyways, so if anybody has any ideas on paper-wise, what would kind of match this? It has, like, the purple rim still, but see, you can see that it was from, um, manufactured in China and printed on acid-free paper, New Seasons, a division of publications, International LTD. So <laughs> it was, like, just pink and, like, plaid and purple kind of wanted it more of my style, kind of like vintage -y, yet hip kind of thing. I don't know, somewhere in between. I can't even describe my style. So, what I did, oh, and actually, from, from Joanne's, um, the boyfriend that I'm with right now, uh, he... He got me some stuff for Valentine's Day, like, ahead of time, and this was labeled as the Lee Romantique Paper Pad, 8x8, 20 sheet. See? See? That's what it's labeled as. Let's see? And yet I get blossoms and buttons by making memories. <laughs> And conveniently, uh, Lyra just made a lemonade. She calls it the lemonade kit. And this is the Blossoms and Buttons lemonade. Conveniently. And I just thought it was hilarious. So if you're watching this, Lyra, it's pretty funny. It matches your kit pretty good, too. There's the flowers on top. There's, like, uh, the felt and the paper ones. And then... Don't want buttons and flowers to go everywhere. Can I see the buttons on the bottom? So everything matches really well with the paper, so if you want to take that in consideration, it matches the kit pretty well. I'm not sure how much this actually costs though, but there's 160 total pieces, so I don't know. <laughs> um... Oh, I haven't shown you guys any of the cards that I get from 
my swaps with people, but this was actually from Lyra, and I think it's pretty, and I have it on my desk, like where I craft, it's on my desk, so I think it, I think the card already came like this, but she like just put the ribbon and put the thanks so much and the little button, so it's like a nice little touch and adds to it. So, and then I got this one. It looks so vintage looking. I love the shoe. It looks like a sketched shoe. It's not like a picture of a shoe. It's like sketched. So pretty. So, and this one was from Robin. So, this one was Robin, and this one was Lyra. We both have good cards. <laughs> Other than that, I'm pretty sure that's about it. Oh, I, yeah, I have stuff everywhere and drawers are open, but I put both of my bins that were just across my room, I put them up and they go almost up to the ceiling. Almost. There's like a makeup bin up there. And like an empty um, album, just a plain like original scrapbook album for huge pages by pull by pull. But that all, and because this is my room too, everything's kind of in one big marshal. And then the trip that came out, and then that light works pretty good being there. Yeah, I'm like moving the lap screen with it, so I'm sorry. <laughs> so, that's it. Oh, no, that's not it. Thought of the perfect way for me to store my papers, because I don't have a whole lot, but I don't have anywhere to put them. So... I took a shipping box that was from something that was shipped to me, and I folded the flaps in, and then I just wrapped paper around it, which is really heavy. It's heavy, oh my gosh. All my papers. These ones I got from Big Lots, King Company Halloween, Street Life ECW. Halloween recollections, a bunch of random papers, <laughs> and more random papers. Prints are on the opposite side on this one for some reason. Looking backwards. Paper stack to separate these. And then these are like the stickers, it's like a full sheet of stickers, and these are like little chipboard letters, which are kind of cool and I used to. <laughs> and this is all cardstock. Just colors of the world. <laughs> so that's what I thought of, and if anybody else has any ideas for a small room, it's a very small room, and I still would like to be able to scrapbook and craft. But I don't really have anywhere to keep my papers since they're 12 by 12 pads normally or 12 by 12 papers. So if you have any ideas, send me a message or something that would be nice and I love you forever. <laughs> um, so that would be about it. Well, this time. I'm positive it's it. Okay? Thanks. Bye.